Hello and welcome to my video. My name is Lex and today I am drawing a meerkat. Meerkats are cute. I specifically remember watching this show, I think it was on Animal Planet, that or Nat Geo Wild, called Meerkat Manor. Anybody who watched those channels knows what I'm talking about back in like 2008, 2007, something like that, because that was like all they played. All I remember of those channels was like Meerkat Manor and Blue Planet. That's it. But anyway, I rather enjoyed watching them, and so today I decided to draw one because they're really cute, really funky li little guys, and I don't know, I dislike them a lot. And do not mind the poor rough sketch. So lately I have not been adding my like rough sketch drawing process, but I decided that for this video it would be okay to add it because they're ugly that's the main reason i don't add them because it's an ugly process and they look a little demonic in the beginning but you know we, we're gonna get there and actually i'm really proud about how this eye turned out because usually i don't draw eyes that have like a black layer fur layer behind them and it was my first time drawing that and it turned out surprisingly well so all you have to do is use a little bit of gray to contrast to like show that you have an outline of an eye and that's it and then you d add the two little white dots to show glare and it actually works out pretty well interestingly enough i did set out with this one to set and i decided not to make the meerkat himself the main center like the main point of attention i wanted to really grab people's attention with the background that I used because lately I've been using a lot of black backgrounds not that they're boring because I add stuff floof and shazam here and there but for this one I decided that I really wanted to make the background pop and so I played with brighter colors and you'll see that at the end because that's the last thing I ever do but yeah I really enjoyed making these actually I had to look up a lot of things about meerkats because I haven't watched meerkat manor since I was eight maybe younger than that um <laughs> so i had to look up some meerkat stuff i've never taught anybody about meerkats before even when i worked at the zoo we didn't have meerkats at that zoo so meerkats are fun they're actually a member of the mongoose family i didn't know that but now that i think about it it actually makes a lot of sense they really resemble a mongoose so that makes sense and they live in big family groups really cute they can have up to like 50 members if i'm remembering correctly and uh, they take turns babysitting and stuff, and I don't know. They're pretty fun little critters. I like uh, social animals. You don't, they're common, I guess, but I don't know. Just very human like. It's very interesting. Oh, fun fact a group of meerkats is called a mob. I think they're too cute to be called a mob, honestly. They're way too cute. They should call it a fuzzle. I would like that. No, maybe a fuzzle would be something for something fluffier. I like irony, so I feel like a group of wolverines should be called a fuzzle, because that's way too cute for what kind of animal they are, <laughs> though they're pretty cool looking. But yeah, a group of meerkats is called a mob, and they live in Africa. They're found in the grasslands and the prairies. And they're omnivorous, so they like to eat scorpions and spiders and bugs, and they'll also eat all sorts of plant material and berries and such. Pretty uh, human-like. Basically, whatever, <laughs> whatever works for food, they're gonna eat it. Cool little guys. I really struggled with his color more than I usually do, and I think it's just because he has all those spots breaking up his natural pattern, but I'm not entirely sure why. Every single drawing has a different, different challenge, I guess, and for me in this one it was definitely the color. Loved doing the background though, once I get to it, I know I keep talking about it, love doing the background, and I used a lot of different techniques that I've never used for it before. Look at how stoic and cute he looks. So cute.
This drawing did turn out a little more simple, and I think part of that is because I was so focused on doing a crazy wacky background. It's actually not crazy or wacky at all. It's surprisingly realistic since they're an African animal. Um, but yeah, the meerkat came out a little simple and that's okay because when I did him, I was sitting on a couch with three dogs all over me and it was a beautiful day outside and I had my mind on other things like kayaking or doing something like that, you know. Usually I'm really good at sitting for long periods of time and getting something done, but that day I was a little distracted. He still turned out okay though. I feel like I should have given him friends or something though, because you know, they're so big on having little friends around. I had to uh, make his leg longer. He looked a little wonky with a short leg. This guy looks like he's standing guard. So a lot of times meerkats, while the rest of the group goes out and forages, looks for food and such, there will be a few of them standing guard to alert the rest of the mob <laughs> that there is danger around. Before the hyena come. Clear. And honestly, the biggest danger to meerkats are other meerkats, like from a different group, different family group or a mob. I refuse to call them that. They just don't feel- it just doesn't seem like they should be called the mob. There has to be a better name. They're way too cute for that. Adding in the fluff on the tail. And for this drawing, I did use only a single reference photo. Usually I use quite a few more, but I decided this one was okay to use. I changed a few things from the reference as I usually do, cause I don't know. I don't like the feeling of copying exactly. I like to change up colors, I like to change up poses, but I did like his little alert, stoic, nerdy pose that he has going on. So I kept that for sure. Something that I didn't think I would like drawing, but I actually ended up at really liking it, was The Rock. I really liked The Rock, and I decided, did I want moss growing on The Rock? And then I'm like, wait, this is the desert. There's probably no moss growing on any rocks out in the desert. <laughs> so, I went for a more plain rock, but I enjoyed doing it. It looks boring right now, but don't worry, it gets better. It gets a little more realistic. Adding in that base color, my least favorite part of the drawing. It's the base. And then that white line between, or lighter line between the flat surface on top and that dark area on the bottom, that's where the shadow is hitting. It really shows that uh, the difference in elevation. Oop, that didn't work. Nope. See, sometimes you just have to experiment. I didn't really like how that looked, but I tried to run with it. And I was like, maybe a base layer? That didn't work either. You never know. <laughs> you never know what you have to do. But that, I liked that. That, that felt right. So all I did was like mess around with a few different brushes and I saw what I liked, what I didn't like. That is the beauty of digital art. You can always take it back if you don't like it. And this is almost done. So this is my little meerkat buddy. I hope you enjoyed him. I I did enjoy doing him. He had some, some little goof ups, but that's okay. And the finished product, I did end up adding a shadow under him so it didn't look like he was just floating there. Um, but yeah. So, thank you for watching. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, which you did, consider subscribing and liking, and I'll see you in the next video. See you, bye.